Robert Fritz's Structural Consulting Channel. What this is, we present full structural consultations, ones that change people's lives. The idea behind this channel is for you to witness a completely different understanding of the human condition. Here are a few things to know. Structural consulting is not therapy. It is an exploration of the underlying structures in the client's life that produces predictable patterns of behavior. What is structure? Structure is a combination of elements that impact each other. In these sessions, the client's structures are a combination of what they want to create, how reality actually is, and the various concepts that they have. The concepts clients have are usually hidden from them but these concepts have impact in influencing the client's life patterns. A change of structure will cause a change of the client's patterns. The principle, the underlying structure of anything will determine its behavior. The process involves seeing the actual patterns in the client's life, which leads to a better understanding of the client's underlying structure. The sessions last between one or two hours. We suggest that if you do decide to watch them, do so when you have time to see the entire process. If you want to see more structure consultations, subscribe to the channel. And here is the session. Okay, so my first question is, what do you want to talk about? Um, can I talk about anything? Well, you need to talk about something that you want clarity on. Okay, so I'm I'm really clear that I've got an oscillating pattern. Okay, <laughs> I'm very clear on that. I don't know how I, I don't know how to stop it. So I can feel I like, this week. Right, I'm trying. I've got this new business that I'm trying to build up, and I've got a really good. What's the business? Um, it's it's the face whisperer. So I specialize in facial expressions of emotion. And behavior and body right now. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> I'm not analyzing you. It's fine. Um, and I, I've got a I've got a global client, so Unilever are a client of mine. I can't seem to get any other clients. So when I explain the process and how beneficial it is to businesses, people go, "Wow, that's brilliant. That's amazing. That's great." But I'm I'm not getting any traction with it. And what I don't want to do is do the same pattern as I did with my last business, that it goes really, really well. And then all of a sudden, nothing. And I feel like I'm at the start of the pattern where like, everything I try, nothing works. Seems like that, doesn't it? How did you get Unilever in the first place? Um, so when before I left my salary job, I was general manager of a global research company and he was a client from that, that company. And when I left and started my own business, he came with me and said, what are you doing now? I'd love to be part of whatever you're doing. So he became a client to my last business and now he's a client again. Okay. What, what, um, what decided you to do this business? Um, I like the fact that it is unique. There's, there's, I don't have much competition. In fact, in the niche that I've put myself, I have no competition, which is a great thing in one sense. And in another sense, it's, I feel like I'm doing an education work all the time. So all my posts on LinkedIn and my marketing is all about educating the reader. Um, but I love, I, I love helping people educating them you, sorry you, you love helping people go on, go ahead yeah I love helping people to see what they can see on the face so educating them as into the face has got so much information if you just understand what you're looking for and and why why is that a good thing what to, to do that to do because it helps communication so if I know how you really feel rather than what you say I can adapt my presentation I can adapt my sales I can adapt, I can adapt everything to fit with what works for you. And it creates this win-win outcome. So you're more in the know then, I guess, about where somebody's coming from. Yes, absolutely. And 
to be adapting then is to have create some kind of empathy with the other person yeah and a good relationship so it's building up a relationship that's mutually beneficial so i understand you better you understand me better we communicate better right okay why is that a good thing <clears throat> because i think um a lot of times a lot of issues and communication problems and breakdowns in relationships are because people don't really understand what the other person wants and needs and is communicating but maybe not with their words and um what's wrong with people not understanding the other person what's 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 wrong with that actually they don't get the best out of the situation for them or the other person that, that's that's um, an outcome right that you just told me an outcome but what's what's wrong with that um it feels wrong because we should i i feel we should understand do you, do you feel that or do you think it actually i think both that's okay i think maybe both okay i think, I, yeah, I think feelings generally are made up of thought and feeling right yes yeah the thought there I think as humans, we should do our very best to communicate as best as possible with other people. And I, I don't, well, I think people who are ignorant and choose to be ignorant and not um, sound really judgmental now. Um, I think, I didn't, I didn't even know where this is coming from. But I think when you don't make an effort to really understand somebody else, you haven't got their best interests in heart. You're selfish. So, um... So people should try and communicate with other people? Yeah. Better. Okay, so they, in, in a better way? Or, yeah. Better yeah, way. and the one thing that we've always got available is the face, apart from when we're wearing masks, but that's going now, hopefully. Right. But the one thing we've always got available is this communication channel that most people just completely ignore. Mm. Yeah, I guess we have body language, which is a different thing, isn't it? Um, and some people use that, I suppose, to, yeah. to try and communicate better. Um, so what I'm, so what, what I'm looking at, what I want to talk to you about then uh, with this whole idea, and I, I think this is, this is maybe what's happening with, there's a should here. Mm. <laughs> you probably know where I'm going with this, right? So there's an aspect of uh, it, it's not okay with you if people don't try and communicate. Mm -hmm. Because in a way, you, you think people should, that that's, it's part of their job to, as, as a human, you said. Isn't it? The yeah. human, a human should try and understand other people because, because that would be for their own good. Yeah, and I think um, it's not about influencing somebody else. It's about where they're coming from. It's understanding where they're coming from. And, you know, once you understand where they're coming from, whether it's they're fear-based or whether they're love-based or whether they're living in anger, once you understand that, you can respond to them differently. Whereas if you don't understand this information, how do you know how best to respond yeah. to something? No, I, 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 can, I, I can understand that. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel myself getting quite angry actually about it, which is sorry. I can feel myself getting quite angry about it. Well, I think it should come in. Maybe. I think it's because what we've what we what we see from you is is that you you have an idea of how other people should behave, mm. right? Clearly, I mean, that, yes. that, that's the should. Yeah. So it, 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 it's kind of like a worldview that you have then, or a concept that you have yes. of how other humans should behave if they're a human being on this planet, right? So mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting it that way because that's, that's kind of what you're saying to me. Yes. Would you agree with that? Yeah, totally. That resonates. And I've never thought of it like that before, but yes, absolutely. Yeah. So I, I want to explore that with you. 
Mm -hmm. So when, we, when I want to discuss with you about freedom. Okay. So in a way, what you're telling me is that in your opinion, people aren't free. If, if they have the ability to communicate to a, another person in an accurate, in more accurate way, that they should do that. And what that says then that that brings up this, this question I have for you around your, your view of other people's freedom to be how they are doing what they want, communicating if they want to, doing it better if they want to. But it seems like you're not, it's not coming from you as they're free to do what they want. It's you have this idea for them mm. of how they should live their life. Yeah. Which is if they've got the means to improve their ability to communicate, they should do that. Yeah. Which is, which is what you've told me. Yes. How do you feel about that? Um, well, I, I always, I'm quite proud of the fact or have felt quite proud of the fact that I am not judgmental. I really work hard on not judging people, but actually... That, well, actually, it's a huge judgment, isn't it? It's a massive judgment. Yeah. Is that a surprise to you? Yes, completely. To, to see that coming out of you? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, a, it's a big surprise. Is it, because... is it a nice surprise or not? <laughs> no. no. So it's not good news? No. Um, that you've, you've realised right now, anyway, that, that mm. you, you think that way, actually. You mm. have to think that way. So your motive, your, your motive for doing this business is to change how people behave, actually. Yes. And, and, and furthermore, you think they should. Yes. So I want to talk to you about freedom, but I want to set my idea about freedom in a different way than most people think about freedom. You think about you know, people going off to war, a soldier going off to war to protect America or something, protect yeah. a country uh, from another country's invasion or something, you know. And that's about territorial freedom mm -hmm. you know, so that we can, we can be free in our own land kind of thing. And also there's, there's ideas on freedom about sovereignty. Like your glasses are your glasses, not my glasses, they're your glasses. <laughs> I'm not free to have your glasses. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I'd like to, they're very nice. <laughs> Thank you. But you get the idea, right, that, that what's yours is yours. Yes, people can steal from you, but then we have rules about that. And, um, you know, people get prevented from doing those, those kinds of things. So that's not the kind of freedom I want to talk to you about. What okay. I want to talk to you about is a freedom that lives within you mm -hmm. as a value. So I'm, I'm going to call it actually freedom as a value. Uh, not the value of freedom, which is different. Okay. The value of freedom would be, oh, benefits, you know, what benefits you yep. get. So it's, it's this invisible force or invisible value that lives inside of you. That's, that only you, you know is there, mm -hmm. if it's there, okay, mm -hmm. if it's there. So I'm, I'm going to ask you, I mean, think of somebody close to you in your life. Mm -hmm. Are they free to live their life the way they want? I mean, choose to, whether they can get there or not. I mean, choose to pursue doing their life the way they want. Think what they want. Yes, but I don't always like it. How is it your, any of your business? Because I think I might know better. Yeah, which is why you started this business. Because you mm. think we know what's best for people. Yeah. So what, you, so what you're saying then is, is I, know, I know what's best, therefore they should listen to me. Mm. Right. So yeah. we have <laughs> we have <laughs> you as God, right? <laughs> yes. Which so, I hadn't realized before, but yes. Yeah. 
so, but it's, it's, and um, so if you think about your business, you think about what you're wanting other people to say yes to. Mm. It's not, it's not that you're just sharing a, a good idea. You know, you just have a good idea and you want to you pass it on. You actually have a concept. Mm-hmm. And you, you've read Robert. Yes. Concepts. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you have a concept that people should do this thing because it's good for them. Yes. So you're a really, you're a really good person up to no good. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Because the energy coming from you is yeah. do what I tell you because it's good for you and I know what's best for you. Yeah. And, and you're not you're not really you're not free, really. You should because you should live life according to how I, I'm saying you should. So that's what we have here. Yeah. And that's you know, and I I mean I'm saying that to you, but I got that from you. Can, can you see that or um... uh, to really clearly now? Yes. I, do, I don't want you paying lip service to me. No, no, I, I, yeah. I can really see that really strongly, which I, and I, so I've been sending out some sales emails today mm-hmm. and I, I can feel the energy of that, that, that actually the manipulation. Yeah. Why are you not answering my emails? This they is feel, what they feel like you're telling them how to live their life. Yeah. That's the energy they're getting out of it. Yeah. So I can feel that energy. People resent that. Yes. And they're, yeah. they're likely going to say no to you. Yes. Well, they do. I'll show her. I'm going to say no. How dare you? Well, they just ignore me. <laughs> yes. Or they just ignore me. Or ignore you. Yeah. 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 So, you know, whenever you have a bee in your bonnet about, I can use any English expressions with you. It's great. Yes. <laughs> um, you, whenever you have a bee in your bonnet about something you think, how other people should be, in life and so on mm-hmm. Se- separate from preference it should should is different than, than preference preferences or tea or coffee yes take it or leave it well i prefer coffee that kind of preference what you're saying to people is you should do this because it's good for you so you yes. should drink this this drink because it's good for you yeah so you're deciding how other people should live their lives Mm. but when you look at it that's rather shocking for you to know about yourself yeah very which is actually good news in a way because if you weren't shocked and say okay (laughs) she just thinks people aren't free end of session (laughs) (laughs) so i'm going to ask you when i ask the question are people free to live their lives the way they want or when you're when this person that you are close to mm-hmm. are they free to live their life the way they want um, you said yes but I don't like it I sometimes don't yeah. like it but what they decide and what they think mm. and I asked you in reality is it any of your business can you answer that again it isn't any of my business because they're adults so it isn't any of you just, gave them an ex- you just gave an excuse for them, though. What, why do they need an excuse for you to recognise their freedom? Um, because I don't like what they do. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. <laughs> okay. Um, well, you may not like what they do. You, you're free to have your opinion. Mm. But you've... It's more than an opinion here. Mm. If you have an opinion, you can have your opinion lay alongside. They're free to live their life and they don't have to listen to you. And they don't have to do what you think is good for them mm. because you value, you have freedom as a value for them. So from inside of you out towards them, you have freedom as a value for them. Actually, inside of you, you do, because otherwise you wouldn't be horrified about seeing that you've got this big should and ought going on. Yes, yeah. So I want you to say out loud, so I know you're saying it to yourself actually. Yeah. People are free to live their lives the way they want and it's none of my business. People are free to live their life the way that they want and it's none of my business. True or not true? But it's true. 
and you still don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it, but it is, I do believe it. It is true. Yeah. So you do have that for them. You do, yes. you do have that for them. Yes. Yeah. To I do have that. I totally do have that. Yeah. So you're not living in alignment then with that value that you actually have. Mm. Yeah. So you're kind of going through the, in the world kind of tilted because you're not, mm. you're not coming from that. Yes. Yeah. So it's not like you're putting out something that might be good for people and letting the chips fall. Uh, the message is you should do this because it's good for you. And yeah. And that feels totally different. How it's going to solve the problems of the world. So uh, along with that, you're also problem solving. Yes. Totally. Attempting to. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's totally different energy. When you just said that then, I could feel the difference. So you said, um, this is good for you and it's, you know, it's out there, take it or leave it sort of thing. Or what I currently have had, which is you should do this because I know it's good for you. Why aren't you doing it? Because you're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you've become like their dictator. Yes. As to, as to how, how they should behave in life. Yeah. Simply because they got born on planet Earth, right? Yes. And on yeah. their toe is written, listen to her. <laughs> she knows what's best for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So that's, that's really pretty clear then, isn't it? What's going on? Yes. Do you, do you know, I mean, if you, if you think about all the people in your life, can, can you genuinely say that? they're free to live their life the way they want and it's none of your business is there anybody that's a sticking point um so that there is someone that i mean they are i do genuinely feel they are free to live their own life but it's none of my business okay i want you to go i want you to take away from feeling okay because i want to plant you in reality okay so I want you to know what reality is, not feel what reality is. There's a huge difference. Because mm. feelings can, can come and go like the weather. Yeah. As, as we know. You know, one, one moment you're feeling good, the next, next moment not. Uh, thoughts come in that affect our feelings and so on. But reality is reality, whether you see it or not. So mm. I want you to know what reality is, if you want to, that is. Yes. Yeah, I do. Oh, my business, actually. <laughs> <laughs> whether you want to see reality but here's an opportunity for you to really stand on reality rather than where you've been mm. yeah so the yeah, it, somebody it, that's it, a sticking, it, sticking point for you yeah it, I mean, it really is none of my business I do completely believe that that is the reality it is none of my business and they're free to pursue and they're free more. yeah they're free to do whatever they want to do, yeah. yeah. Can I ask who that person... Um, my daughter. Your daughter. And what's she done? <laughs> um, she is in a relationship that I don't think is particularly good for her. Ah, oh. Oh, okay. Uh, and, and nobody does. It's not just me. Nobody. Right. So everybody, everybody's got the same opinion. Yes, yeah. Of this jerk, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How old is she? 27. Okay, and how long has she been with him? Uh, nearly three years. Sounds like a pretty solid relationship. Uh, well, she has been back and forth mm -hmm. home. She's not here currently. She's at, she's with him. Uh, mm -hmm. She's been back home for the last six months until about a month ago. Yeah. So, do you give her advice then? Um. Yes, I do. I, I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to lie about that, but I, I do. Yeah. Um. For her own good. <laughs> Because you know what's uh, good for her. I mean, I, I try really hard to not be judgmental. And I right. try to say it in a way, look, you know, you're always free to come back. You do what you want to do. You're 27 years of age. You're an adult. You can do whatever you want to do. But. But. <laughs> <laughs> but it, I, you know, people can change, absolutely can change. But there's a lot of issues between the two of them, a lot of issues and neither of them seem to want to change. So that, that's going to cre create a pattern they've got. Let's have a look at it, uh, this, this question I have for you. Is she free to be in a bad relationship? Yes, she is. Any of your business? No. 
Apart from it the fact that have been, I, it, sorry, go ahead. Apart from the fact that I end up picking up the pieces. So that's where I feel it is my business because I am home from time to time. So she she's becomes a burden. Yeah. yeah. In reality, do you have to pick up the pieces? No, I don't in reality. So you're not really a victim to it then? No, I choose to. Because what you just did was, you know, poor me, I have to pick up the pieces. Yeah. <laughs> yes. in, in reality, you don't have to do that. No. Yes, it's your choice. Yes. And you could choose not to. Yes. Okay. So you're not a victim then? No. <laughs> as much as I'd like to be, I know I'm not a victim of that. I'm not. Yeah, because what we, what we do sometimes is we look at the consequences mm. of people that are close to us, their actions. And then we say, oh, God, I have to now help them out. Mm. I have to, have to, have to. In reality, you don't have to. No. But we, we do that, though, don't we? We, we say we yes. have to when we don't. Yeah. Which actually, in saying you have to, then gives you permission to interfere. Yes. Yes. Because yeah, it's like, it's not only their lives they're messing up, it's mine too, therefore. And yeah, very much so. They were off to the races with saying they're not free to be, to live how they're living and choosing who they choose. Yeah. And it's actually not true that it's affecting your life because you can say no. Yeah, I can choose not to be part of it. And that's not to say that you're free to have your opinion of this guy and you're mm -hmm. free to have an opinion about her choice. But it's, it, that it's separate. So you've got, if you draw a line, you've got a piece of paper there? Yes. Yep. If you draw a line down the centre of the page. Yep. And put freedom on the right-hand side. And then write her name is free the way she wants and it's none of my business. Can you just write that down? You don't have so to give again, me her you, name. You froze slightly. Say again. Oh, you don't have to give me her name. That's fine. Yep. Just write down her name for you, though. Yep. Is free to live her life the way she decides and it's none of my business. Okay. okay, that's. I want you to mark opinion. Here's Sorry, a, you... head, a heading saying opinion. On the other side, on, on the, the left. left. On the left hand side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. In my, and, and I want you to write, in my opinion, she's choosing the wrong person for herself. Yeah. So when you look at those two statements, can they live together? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so both are reality because you do have freedom as a value inside of you. So in reality, your freedom as a value exists. For yes. Her. So... I'm not at all trying to take you away from your opinion. You, you've, you're free to have your opinion, right? Which you're yeah. going to have. You're going to have your opinion. Yes. Yeah. So in reality, you have the opinion. And in reality, you have freedom as a value for her. Yes. Right. So those things can live side by side. Yeah. yeah. And another piece of freedom is I'm free to say no to looking after her. That true or not true yeah that's very true yeah yeah so you're off the hook yes you can fire yourself as a mum yeah <laughs> that would be very nice <laughs> <laughs> you know um yes because what your responsibility not that you have ever had to look after really because you know many women, women decide not to look after their children but you did yes and your legally your responsibility ended at 18 right i think is it is it 18 in, in yes yes yeah, yeah. So 18, that's it. She's out of the nest. Birds and animals don't seem to have any problem with that, but humans do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So.
So when you think about your daughter and when you did try to change her mind or have her think differently about this guy and stuff, I'm going to call that a kind of manipulation. You know, trying to manipulate her out of how she's thinking about it or yeah. her choice, yeah. And the motive for that, I would suspect, is the fear you have for her mm. about what can happen to her in her future. Yeah. Yeah. And you probably imagine the worst, I should imagine. Yeah. Do you do that? Do you have that? Um, yeah, well, he's proved himself to be the worst as well. Right. But he, so he matches your pictures that you have of, of bad things happening. Yeah. 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 So do you find yourself having imaginary fear about the future? Yeah. Yeah. And you probably do about this business that you're in right now too, right? Yes. Imagine, yeah. Worst. Yeah. So those pictures you have, they act as ways to manipulate you into action to prevent those things from happening. Yeah. Yeah. But so, when it comes to my business, those imaginary fears, hmm. I think they paralyze me rather than goose me into action. Or they goose me into action, like sending those emails out today from the wrong energy. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so you're doing like a shotgun approach kind of thing. Mm. Yeah, in the hope that it's going to work. Yeah. Yes. People are going to say yes to you. So are people free to say no to you? They are. Any of your business? No, it's none of my business. Does that upset you, people say no to you? Or has it done in the past? Uh, well, I wouldn't say it was upset me. It was like, I, I, it was more of like, I just can't believe people aren't taking attention to this. I just can't believe people aren't biting my hand off for this stuff <laughs> right because you it's such a good thing right they should oh, yes absolutely <laughs> yeah. yes it must be disappointing somewhat then when people don't yeah yeah very why would you want people saying yes to you if they don't want to say yes to you no i want them to say yes because they want it as well and they can see how important it is Are they free to see it as unimportant? Well, they are now. They weren't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I never picked up on that, but actually, I believed they should see it as important as I have felt it is as important. Mm. And actually, the fact that they didn't made them idiots. Right. Which is not true. Rather than, rather than reacting to energy coming out of you, which is, I know what's best mm. for you. Yeah. You should give life my way. Yes. It's your own good after all. So therefore you should say yes. Yeah, absolutely. Very much that. Very much. You're missing. <laughs> yes, I'm that. All of that. <laughs> yeah. More fool you, right? So more yeah. Fool. Yeah. Yeah. So gosh, we kind of got there pretty fast, I think. Ab about what's going on. Yes. And I think this is really the major reason why your business isn't surviving as well as you want. And possibly how the other one didn't either. Because if you're not, if you weren't in touch with that concept that you had going on. Mm. I, I thought the concept. The way through your, your dysfunctional pattern. Yeah, I thought the concept I got going on was I'm not good enough. That's why it wasn't working. Right. Well, that, that's, you know, that's, yeah, if you can beat yourself up. Right? Yes. That kind of helps a bit. Because we, all, we, we don't like not having a reason why things yeah. happen. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not knowing is, is, is something that human beings hate. <laughs> so then we make stuff up. Yes. Yeah. 
so you just had your your brain really your head filled with this concept and you've kind of been a servant to it mm. in the in your oscillating structure. Yes. So in a way you've had a job to do, which is to serve this idea that people should really learn from you how to communicate better. And it would, if the whole world communicated better, then you know, the whole world would be better off and people would be happier and everybody would be understood and it would be so great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So is the world free to go to hell in a handbasket? The world is completely free to go to hell in a handbasket, if they want to. Any of your business? None of my business. No. None of my business, no. Yeah, I mean, that's separate from we actually love the world and we love people and we love the yeah. planet. That's so I, I can still do what I'm doing. It's just not with that energy anymore, not with that concept in the way. Would you want, I mean, here's really the thing. Would you want people uh, to say yes to you um, um, if they really if they actually didn't want to do it no no so if people don't want to learn how to communicate better okay with you absolutely fine with me now now yes Okay, you froze a little bit then. I said it's absolutely fine with me now. Yeah, yeah. So, so the next time you talk to somebody about your business, you won't have that going on that they mm -hmm. should say yes to you. Yeah. Which is very freeing. I mean, then people really feel free around you, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I actually can feel that shift that actually... You know, I'll probably send the same email tomorrow, but it'd be from a very different energy. Yeah, it's not it's not the it's not the action no. of sending out information about what you do. Mm. It's the energy that comes with it. That's yeah. It. You do this. Yeah, it's it's quite massive actually. I, I just never ever picked up on that before. Yeah. But yeah. It makes perfect sense now. So the next time you're talking with somebody knowing that they're free to disagree with you, mm. free to say no to you. But there's your real communication right there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it feels now that there's no... Uh, the way I would say I was like, you, do, 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 you've got to do this. Right. And that doesn't feel like... Now it's just like... Now, here, no, here it is. Here it is entirely up to you whether you're interested or not interested that that's the difference yeah mm. and and you've kept your opinion intact do you think it's a good yeah. thing yeah you want to share it yes I, I absolutely do believe it's a it's a great thing to know and to use mm. to help people um so that is my opinion that's the reality right. and people it, are free to not want the help are totally free yeah totally free they weren't, but they are now. <laughs> I just never, ever picked up on that. I'm yeah. very pleased to release the energy of, of what I was holding on to. Because I'm thinking now, I trained as a counsellor and psychotherapist 20 years ago. And then I um, went into market research. And I, believe it or not, could improve market research. Now, with hindsight, with what we've just talked about, I, I could do it better. Mm. And what, people are idiots if they don't do it my way because I know much better. <laughs> right. right. I, yes. I have I have students, as you probably know, I have, I have students which I'm I'm teaching uh, mm. structural consulting to. And in the old days, to begin with, um, I used to read them the Riot Act because they weren't doing their homework and they weren't. And I thought, well, why am I doing that? You know, let them learn if they want to learn. You know, it's none of my none, not even let. I mean, they they learn if they want to learn. Yes, I can't let them because that means uh, if I'm giving them permission, uh, I can take the mm. permission back. <laughs> yes. But you know they're free to learn or not, and it's none of my business. Yeah, so, and that was just so freeing. And I also got that that their their 
their responsibility um, was to learn if they wanted. And it was my, my thing to teach. Yes. But it wasn't my responsibility that they learn, you know. Yes. And that was incredibly freeing uh, to see yeah. my students are free to, to learn or not learn, you know, mm -hmm. up to them, you know. Because like before that, I was like chasing them saying, where's your transcript? Yeah. You know, I need to give you some feedback on you. Oh, I was horrible. <laughs> I think I've probably done it all my adult life. Like I had my children quite young in my early twenties and I think I did the same with them as well. And I was just thinking about how I, people weren't free to do what they wanted to do. It was, it always had to be my way because I could do, I knew better. Yeah. So I'm really glad you did this. This is, this is terrific. I'm really glad. Thank you very much. I'm just going to go through your pattern with you. Yes. Thank right? you. Yes, please. Do you think we're done on as far as, Feels like. Yeah, it feels like it. Yeah, it feels like it. Yeah, you've got reality. Yes, I do. Yeah. Can you just and one in? Yes, yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just going to say the reality is I, I can still have my opinion that I think what I do is really great, but if other people don't want it, that's also fine now. Whereas it's that you know it's their business if they don't want it and if they don't see the importance like I do that that's fine. They're free to make that choice now. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that terrific? Oh, yes. Yeah. That's lovely. And there's no disappointment because no. you wouldn't want them saying yes to you if they didn't want it, right? No, absolutely not. No. Yeah. So I got you two, two uh, stories. Uh, well, the first story um, about your business, which you, which you gave us. So I'm not, I'm not going to read it out. I think it's a little long to read out. But you know it already anyway, because you gave it to us. I do. Um, and right now I'm just going to give you the, the dysfunctional one. And it's a generic uh, story. It's a, it's a generic pattern from the story. Mm -hmm. And what I want to, you to do is, is, I'm going to read, it, read you the thing, and then we're going to go over it again using another story of yours without you telling me the story, but just thinking about it. Okay. That, that makes sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So first box is desire. And then you feel overwhelmed and unclear. And then you set up a structure. Things go well. Increased commitment. Mm -hmm. After a time, something changes and things get worse. Try to fix it. Mm. Nothing works. Things get even worse. You're bewildered. And then, then you quit. Right. Yes. So I want you to think of, don't, don't do your second company because you, you haven't. No, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> something that has a beginning, middle and end, okay? So, okay. So another story where you wanted something, you took action to get it, and you ended yeah. up uh, either you quitting or they quitting or whatever. Yeah, because each step doesn't have to be you doing it. Somebody else could have done it. But, but it's okay. a step in your pattern. Yeah. yeah. Okay, have you got one? Yes. Okay, did you have a desire? Yes. Did you feel unclear and overwhelmed or either one of those separately? Uh, together? Yes. Did you set up a structure? Yes. Did things go well at first? Yes, very well. Did you have an increased commitment? Yes. After time, something changed and things got worse? Yeah. You tried to fix it? Yes. Nothing worked. Yeah. Things get even worse. Yeah. You got bewildered and then quit. Yeah. Totally okay. that. Great. So then can you think of the, another story? Uh, well, that I've, I'm married. I've been married twice. Okay. You still, um, you, you're married now to the same man? Well, I married my, so my first husband, that whole pattern Mm. happened not long ago to marry him my right. second husband um 
after 11 years, the same thing happened. Right. And we are, have got back together again. Oh, OK. But there was a definite quit. Yes, we separated definite, for a year. Definite end. Yeah, we separated for a year. So I've done it twice in a marriage. OK. Can you think of something other than the marriage then? Um, Maybe another job or relationship or buying a car or something. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Job, what job I've done it, yep. Yeah. Okay, think, think of the job story then. You had a okay. desire. Yes. You felt overwhelmed and unclear. Yeah. Set up a structure. Yeah. Things go well. Yes. What was I missed that one? Increased commitment. Yes. Yeah. After a time, something changes and things get worse. Yeah. Try to fix it. Yeah. So after a time, something changed and got worse. Was I well, the job? Was, my manager changed, so things changed yeah. and it got worse. That's fine. That's, yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter who does the change. Yeah. Or, yeah. Did you try and fix it though? Yes, totally. Nothing worked. Nothing worked. Things get even worse. Yeah. You're bewildered. Yeah, and can't understand it, and I quit, yeah. So that's the same, that like, can't understand it. Um, yeah. That you had with, with the current, you're not understanding why people are saying no. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's a very big pattern in my life. And it's happened with cars, lease cars, even. It can happen in a five-minute telephone conversation. I mean, yeah. It has no... Because probably the relationships, I don't know how long they were each, the, the, two, the two relationships, before you got back to with your second husband. How yeah. long was your first marriage? Uh, we were married for 11 years, um, mm -hmm. and I left him. Mm -hmm. And then um, after, I was actually thir after 13 years, I left my current husband right. for a year. We did eventually get back together, but yes. And the job? And the job uh, and, um, that was over a space of three years. Okay. The last, last, last one. Okay. From uh, how long was that job? How long was that company that you had? Uh, three years. Three years. And what about yeah. what about? Um, oh, we don't. Do we have another story where you where it was longer or shorter? So you could go. You, so the, you've given us examples. Then three years. 11 years, 13 years. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I can't think of a shorter one off the top of my head. Oh, it's okay. But there probably will be one, I'm sure. Well, you probably, yeah. Actually, there is. I can think of one. I can think of one. So I met a lady um, at networking and followed this whole pattern with her, even, even start, thought about starting a business. And then I became overwhelmed. And just no, yeah, quit. There was a problem. I tried to fix it, and then I quit. Right. Yeah, totally. That is total pattern, and that was over the space of about nine months. Yeah. So I think it's great that you know it now. Terrific. You see what what's going to what's going to help you live in an os in a resolving pattern though, mm -hmm. knowing that inside of you you have freedom as a value alive and kicking. Mm. How are you feeling about having been structurally consulted? How's that for you? Um, I, it's fascinating because I would never, I, as I said to you earlier, I class myself as a really non-judgmental person. I've worked really hard to be what I think is non-judgmental when all the time, um, I, I trained as a Samaritans volunteer. So listening to people on the phone and, you know, no matter what they'd done, I could listen. I could have an opinion. And I did right. that really well, but yeah. but only I think in that right. that small piece. And I thought I got that throughout my whole life, and I really hadn't. Right. Well, there's a difference between prejudice and judgment, prejudgment and judgment. You know, so you, mm. are you free to judge people the way you where you do. Is that I mean, as far as your own freedom to? I try not to judge people. I try to take everyone as I find them, and I really work hard on that. Yeah, but you know that you you're um, so you're trying to do a number on yourself about how you're supposed to be. Then, right? Mm. 
Are you trying to manipulate yourself out of what your thinking is? Yes. And I think I've got this ideal of that I should be a good person. To be a good person, you shouldn't judge people. You should ah, okay. be, be open to who they are and listen to what they've got to say. Hmm. Well, maybe maybe that's another session. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what what's um I mean I we probably won't do it now, but uh, maybe we could go round two and see what that's about. Because mm. I had did did have in the first session you beating yourself up mm. um, for how you were being. Yes. Yeah. Um, so you think you should be a good person. Yeah. So there's something wrong then with, with when you see yourself judging people. That's, that's mm. you being a bad person then. Yes. Yeah. Bad people judge other people. So do you think you have an opinion about yourself, Benny? Yes. So do you think you're a bad person? Um, I think I might be frightened that I'm a bad person. I don't actually think I particularly am to what everyone else is, but I think I might be frightened that I'm a bad person. What would be wrong with you having a, a, that opinion of yourself? Um, um, people wouldn't like me. I wouldn't like me. So in order for people to like you, you have to you have to do the right kinds of things for them to like you then. Mm. Otherwise, they wouldn't like you. And if I'm not a good person, then I can't be here. That's that's what came to me. I can't be here. I have to be a good person to to justify my place. Huh. So so in being a good person, then, and adopting the right behavior. is like redeemable value then mm. to actually being alive on the planet. Yeah. So in a way then you're paying for your existence. Yes. By being good. Yeah. So you're trying to justify your existence. How's that, how, how can you do that? How's that work? Um, it's quite hard work doing good things over here leads to justifying your life i mean in reality it doesn't but i feel like it does yeah, so it doesn't really make sense no okay so is it actually doable then <laughs> to a certain extent and can you justify your existence yes because i'm a good person <laughs> Well, that's what, that's what you've been thinking as a, as a concept. Yes. Yeah. That's the way to justify your existence. But can you pull it off, actually? No, because it's, it's hard work. Yeah, you, you'd be exhausting, wouldn't it? I mean, yeah, it is exhausting. You have to really be prodding yourself to be good all the time and beating yourself up when you're judgmental and all that stuff, saying that. Mm. I can't be like that. Mm. Yeah. So you're doing a number on yourself then. Yeah. But, it, but if you have to do it all the time, it means that it's actually, in the end, not, not doable, right? Because it's, the, the ceiling's too high. I mean, yeah. You'd have to make sure you don't fall off your own pedestal, you know, of goodness. Yes. All the time, yeah. You know? <laughs> and then when I do fall off, because I occasionally do fall off, it becomes a massive fall. Yeah. Yeah. And you've blown it then. Yeah, totally. You have yeah. to speed up redeeming yourself Mm. even more I suppose yeah um, so so it's not really doable no it's not doable so I want I want you to say out loud we go again <laughs> I cannot justify my existence I cannot justify my existence true or not true true can you say it again I cannot justify my existence I cannot justify my existence so why can't you just exist then? The way you are, warts and all, you know? Yeah. I mean, the good, the bad, the ugly. Mm. Are you free to choose to live your life 
the way mm -hmm. you were. Um, no, I wasn't. <laughs> but I think I might be. What's reality, though? Is it? Are you free to live your life? Choose to live, or choose to live your life. A few choosing. I mean, you don't know whether you're going to get get where you want to go, but you. you um, I haven't been free to choose my life. Right. Because I've always had to measure up to this in my head. Yeah. So you've got this this ideal of how yeah. you should be. Yeah. In order to justify being here. Yeah. So were you you were afraid that a hand would come down and pull you out of life? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I think good enough. <laughs> well, yeah, I do think that, you know, back to my childhood and like, like you know, payback, I guess. Yes. Yeah. I, I very much payback. believe that. So if you won the lottery, you'd have to give back the money then. Yes. So I, I did something I wasn't proud of quite a few years ago. And that's what led me to being a volunteer at Samaritans, I think, now in hindsight. Mm. Because I felt I had to give back. Yeah. Do you think that's part way why you're doing this business too? As a means of paying back? Your existence maybe i don't know um i because you i mean i think it's such a good thing you know and if people you know, yeah I, I enjoy it and i'm passionate about it but it could it could be that again it could well, be it that aspect, anyway yeah absolutely it could be a resolving a resolving pattern too you know yeah uh, yeah so so it's not doable though to justify no. yeah no so are you free to live your life the way you want? Yes, I am. Good or bad? Yep, whatever. Right. You're free to be a bad person? Yes. <laughs> it's going to be a struggle, but yes, I am free to be a bad person. <laughs> I was going to say any of your business, but I... <laughs> <laughs> it well, kind of is my business, but... <laughs> yes. Um... Okay, so I want you to say, I cannot justify my existence about six times, please. I and cannot just time you say it, it's like teaching yourself it, okay? I cannot justify my existence. 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 Okay, so your existence is unjustifiable. Mm. How's that how does that have you feel? It feels weird, but it feels freeing again. Yeah, it's probably disorientating. To yeah, I, yeah, I do feel it, I'm like, mm, what's going on here? Yeah. yeah, but is it true nevertheless, no matter how you feel? It, yeah, it is true, yeah. Your, your feelings, you know, they were matching the old you, and it's mm -hmm. taken time sometimes to match the reality. That yeah, that, that is the reality. I cannot justify my existence. Yeah. So you're free to choose your life the way you want. Mm. Yeah. So we found another place here where you're serving a concept. Yeah. 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 So actually, I think that's, I think that's probably more dominant, actually, because I, I'm thinking that if you can have people say yes to your ideas, that makes you a good person which leads to you justifying, trying to justify your existence. Yes, I think, I think so. Have. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. I think it, that runs through absolutely everything. You froze again. Can you, can oh, you so you... I didn't hear any of it. I said, I think that runs through absolutely everything. That, you know, everything. I have to be this good person. Yeah, so being... A and if I, do some, if I do something I'm not, happy with then i have to atone for it in a big way right right to justify my still being here yeah yeah so and, and do you believe in god by the way uh no, i believe in the universe you believe in the universe so, yeah so um i was brought up though in in a religion that was very much good and bad okay yeah right and wrong were very very much drilled into me right um so if you think about the universe it is the universe uh, do you have to serve this universe <laughs> i 
Are you a yes. slave to this universe or do you think the universe actually uh, um, is on the side of you're free to live your life the way you want? Um, I think I have to serve the universe. Mm. I think the, if I, like, I, I actually said to my daughter today, because her boyfriend's done something that I don't agree with, I said, well, the universe pays you back. Mm. I actually said that the universe will pay him back. Mm. Yes, yeah, so you're giving, giving a, it's another manipulation of yours to give pictures of negative consequences so that people uh, yeah. toe, toe the line. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do believe that. I, I'm, you have to toe, that, toe the line too. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm scared to not toe the line because I'll get paid back in some way. Yeah, well, that's your imaginary fear stuff. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's what that so it kicks in the imaginary fear mm. to keep you in line. Yes, to be a good girl. Be a good girl. And then if yeah. you're a good girl, you're allowed to exist. Mm. Or you deserve existence anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And if you don't do that, something bad's going to happen. Yes. Yeah. 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 And life will fall apart in some way. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's bigger, actually. Taken on a lot. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Do you, how, much, how, how strongly do you realise that all that is... Uh, Excuse my French, bullshit. Uh, well, I can see it now as bullshit, but it's just been how I've been for the last 51 years. Right. But I can see now in reality, it is total bullshit. Right. So it's rather like if, if you were telling yourself your eyes, how, what colour are your eyes, brown? Green. Green. If you, oh yes, yeah, so they are. <coughs> yeah. Um, if you were telling yourself your eyes were brown for mm. 51 years, and then you looked in the mirror and people told you what real colors will look like. And you mm. realize, oh no, they're not brown, they're green. Would you go back to telling yourself your eyes are brown yeah. oh, once you knew what reality actually was? Mm. Yeah. Well, that's what's on offer here. Yeah. In, in this session. Yeah. Do you want it or not want yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Totally, totally want it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's when, you know, when Robert says reality is your friend, you know, this, this, is, this is what's on offer. Yeah. Is to, to, to really stand, stand in, on, on the earth, two feet on the ground, knowing mm. what reality is. Because mm. you've, read, you've read Robert's books, haven't you, I think? Or you've yeah. Read, yeah. So you uh, know what uh, the tension is, yeah? Yes, I've just reread Your Life as Art, actually, this last week. Okay, so you know structural tension, here's what I want. Yeah, here's what I have. So it's really important that you know what reality is to, to what you want. Mm. If you don't know what reality is, you can't get there. Yeah. Yeah. You just, you just oscillate. You know, if, I, if I want to go. Yeah, I, yeah. I can see the oscillating throughout my whole life. I can see that really clearly, but I didn't know where it was coming from. Yeah. So you've been, you've put yourself in service of the universe. Yeah. Um, so then that's your master. Right? Yeah. So you haven't been free to choose to live your own life. Good, bad, no. or ugly. It doesn't, you know, you've had to be a good girl. Mm. You've had to help people. Yeah. Um, and in, in doing the job of helping people, you've inadvertently um, not seen them as, or not, not recognize or recognize your own true values which is mm -hmm. freedom is a value that actually is there yeah um so people have had to you know get on the stick and 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 be good people too yeah <laughs> and if yes you influence them to be good people then then that adds more value to you as a good person yeah and then you've justified your existence and if you don't then all hell can break loose. Yeah. Which is back to imaginary fear, which is back to you trying to control everything. Yes. And controlling how your life goes. Yeah. So, so in reality, can you control how your life goes? Given you don't know with any certainty what's going to happen next? No. Yeah. <laughs> Best of luck. But yeah. I know.
yeah, it's, it's yeah. I mean, you can control some things, but you know, you you're going to only know in hindsight. Yes. Yeah. You know, with yeah, absolute, but... you know, absolutely knowing with certainty. Yeah. So can't know what you don't know. Can't control what you can't control. Right. So what you must have had going on then is, is the world a, a dangerous place. Yeah. And so you, you really had to be on your best behaviour. Yeah, dangerous place if you don't behave well. Exactly. That's what I mean. Yeah. If you don't, yeah. if you're not on your best behaviour, if you're not the good girl. Yeah. Then, then life's going to get you or the universe is going to do something negative. To yeah. You. Yeah. Yeah. And that's been, your, that's a fear that's been running you. Mm to manipulate you yes into making sure you're a good girl and making sure you're helping people and then it would be really important for you for people to say yes to you right yeah yeah because that justifies everything then yeah it gets the job done yeah it justifies my existence and i'm being good at the same time but they have a job to do other people have had a job to do which is to say yes to you because yeah. then you do good in the world then you're a good person. Then you're yeah. fine to be here and nothing bad's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, we're in yeah. a circle. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know any of that. Yeah. You see it now, though, right? You just, yes, really clearly. One thing leads to another thing, doesn't it? Really yeah. clearly, yeah. And how, how disappointed you'd be in people saying no to you. Yeah. Because they're your, your fodder, if you like. They're, they're yeah. your, your resource for getting that job done. So yeah. 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 That's really powerful. Mm. Mm. So how do you feel right now, having, having gone through all of that? Because we um, went further then than just... Yes. I feel like a bit like that. Disoriented. Um, yeah, a little bit. That's, that's, that's a good thing. Okay, good. Good. Yeah, because because a huge change of thinking, uh, it's, it's bound to wobble your, your brain a bit, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's how I feel my brain's been wobbled. Yeah. But but in a good way, as in all, I almost feel like I just shed about, 30 pounds off my shoulders too actually funny enough you're looking slimmer right now am i <laughs> yeah, you are. i mean i don't it's just, i don't know whether it's my uh, illusion but you you seem to be lighter yeah i fe i feel like my shoulders have been hurting up until this point and my shoulders don't hurt anymore i'm not surprised I and mean, you're carrying all that burden mm. of uh, having to having to do 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 and have everybody else do 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 yeah yeah, they, they, that they, I feel like they've dropped about three inches too. Yeah, yeah, you look very much, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so now you're in touch with reality. Game over, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You can't do this on your own. Even though I've read Robert's books and watched the YouTube videos, well, it's the reason hard to do on your own. You don't know what questions to ask yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You can get to a certain point, I think, but you can't really get to the good stuff like you've done. I once tried to structure to consult myself and I was just so off track. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because the structure you're in wants to hold on. And wants, you know, yes, so yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, that was that was brilliant. Thank you. You're most welcome. I'm glad you we carried on and Yes. We don't have to do another session now because it's all it's all of a piece. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's a big piece as well, I think. How did how did it feel for you being structurally consulted, actually, if you could if you'd let me know? Um it didn't feel as invasive or as intense as I thought it was gonna be. I, I was a bit concerned that it would be like, oh, you know, is it gonna be hard? Am I not am I not gonna be able to answer the questions? I mean, this could be my good girl stuff coming through. So, but <laughs> well, um, 
beginning of this session no not not right now <laughs> yeah no 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 now uh, it's a really enjoyable process actually it's a really enjoyable process because it's And it was easy. It was easy. It felt easy to, to come to where we've got to. Yes, yeah, so if I told you at the beginning, you probably wouldn't, wouldn't have believed it. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. No, it, it felt easy and very powerful, very powerful. Yeah, you, you know, you do, look, you do look lighter. You do look like relaxed. Mm. Good. Yeah. So you're feeling kind of free? You kind of yes, free? I do. I'm going to freak everybody out now around me. Like, what, what <laughs> happened? <laughs> Where did the control freak go? <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, I, I mean, you were actually a great, a great client. You know, I, yeah, it's terrific. Thank you. Very easy to work with. Um, thank you. Yeah, yeah I, I, I didn't know if it would be a difficult process. That was my concern. Would it be a difficult process? Would I not understand or would it be difficult for me to, to go through the process? But actually, not at all. Yeah, yeah. we were very clear, you, and especially, you know, doing your pat, the pattern stuff and giving me mm. stories was, was great. Um, very valuable. Yeah. Thank you. So do you feel cooked, as it were? You feel done? <laughs> I do. I feel very done. I do very, very much. Yeah, my, my head's still a bit wobbly, but it's a good wobble. I think you, my advice to you is not like go straight into a party right now. No, no, I'm not. I'm not doing anything now. Have some time off, you know, maybe maybe half a day, you know, before you actually get into work again or just just yeah. Also, yeah, a few hours anyway, sitting just with yourself. Just, you know. Yeah. Because mm. it is. I mean, it's a real change. So. Yes. It is massive. Yeah. yeah. That's what we mean by a change of underlying structure is, is what you've been through. So yeah. So a little bit of, um, some people might, might not understand um, when you tell them about it, you know, mm. it's, it's tricky for them to understand it actually. Yeah. Um, but maybe later on you can, you can point them in the right direction to see it only if you want them to. I mean, yes. Yeah. If you want to understand, you can you can go view the session or whatever. You know. Yeah. Because it's tricky to to explain. Yes. Change happen. You know. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna say goodbye. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. bye.